They're giving out full-size candy bars over on Thompson Street. Yeah. Let's go. Candy. Hey, wait up! Go on, knock. Why don't you? No way. This place is haunted. You guys are so the chicken. Todd's cousin said he saw a guy ride up on a motorcycle, and his head was on fire. Forget that. Our brave little pyro will knock. Won't he? Uh, you're not scared, are you? Hey! Now go on. Fist on the door. Make a knocking sound. <sighs> Would you hurry up before Halloween is over? Yeah. Trick or treat? Contain thee. Return to the chamber from whence you escaped. Whoa. That was strange. Doctor, strange if you please. Hey. Thanks, Captain, for the use of your bubblegum. Um, you're welcome. Now then, who wants candy? Come, come, don't be shy. <laughs> It's gonna be a long Halloween night. Seven sons of... Welcome, Hulk. Thank you for answering my mystic summons. Got your hands full, huh, Doc? Shields of the Seraphim, protect me! These may no longer be the delicate hands of a neurosurgeon, but they're still quite capable. One caveat. We need to contain these monsters, not destroy them. I don't know what caveat means. How about I just smash them senseless? That's why I signed you. By the ruby rings of Ragador, I bind and contain thee! I promise I'll free you soon, Benito. And stop the fiend who did this to you. Gross! Stupid bug snot!
Stay back! I summon the icy tendrils of Ichthalan. <laughs> You creatures will be safe inside the Sanctum, so I can free you all from this curse. That's it? The Hulk turns into some guy and falls asleep? Lame. Let's get more candy. You're still a hero to me. Come on! Let's go! Dr. Banner, Bruce, rise and shine. <sighs> Well, you're no good to anyone like this. What? Doctor Strange? Where am I? What's going on? To answer your questions in order, yes, Greenwich Village outside my Sanctum Sanctorum, and you're apparently quite asleep. So, I'm dreaming. No, I'm using a spell to commune with your unconscious mind. But I can see, I can hear. Even in an alpha wave state, I shouldn't be this aware of my surroundings. This is why I deplore working with scientists. Everything requires an explanation. You're not gonna give me the old magic is just science we don't understand yet, are you? Has it ever occurred to you, Dr. Banner, that science is just magic we don't understand yet? The point is, I summoned you because I needed the Hulk's help to contain some aggressive creatures. I don't remember any of that. And yet, in the very heat of battle, Hulk disappeared, and there you were, sound asleep. So now it's my turn to require an explanation. Usually I remember everything the big guy does. But lately I've woken up several times with no memory of where I am or how I... Don't look now, but here comes some of those aggressive creatures. Oh, no, those are... Uh, Dr. Banner? Hulk, wait! Don't worry, Doc, I remember. Contain, not destroy. Jolly green jerk. My problem is you attacking my friend Strange. Hulk, you don't understand. Nobody sucker punches Warwolf. Stand down. That's the Hulk. He's an Avenger, not a hostile. He looks pretty hostile to me. Maybe a little mesmerizing gaze will slow your roll. As you may have gathered, Miss Price, hypnosis makes him angry. Agent Jasper Sitwell of S.H.I.E.L.D. Pursuant to protocols outlined... That's when your S.H.I.E.L.D. hire zombies! This man thing, release him at once. Monsters, they're friends. Tell that to the zombie. Let's do this old school. Snack time, Jasper. Thank you, Nina. Enough. You greedy! Warwolf, stand down! Stand down! Warwolf, what have we discussed about keeping our animal rage in check? What? He's the Hulk! Ain't my fault he picked the worst possible time to turn back in the puny guy! Indeed. 
Almost as if someone planned it that way. Still sleeping? Still sleeping. So, this spell, does it mainly act on the limbic system, or are we dealing with... I beg of you not to go there again, Dr. Banner. Besides, I'd like you to formally meet some friends, and I stress the word friends. They were referred to me by Nick Fury of S.H.I.E.L.D. I've been helping them deal with their shared condition. <laughs> condition? Spit out, Doc. We're monsters. Some more than others. Hey, loud and proud, baby. Dr. Banner, may I introduce Warwolf? Mina Price. Vampire by night. Man-Thing. I wouldn't shake his hand if I were you. Point taken. And Agent Jasper Sitwell of S.H.I.E.L.D. Commanding officer of the Paranormal Containment Unit. And don't forget zombie. That is not something I'm at liberty to discuss. He's afraid if Fury finds out he's a zombie, he'll get demoted. We can usually keep him from going total living dead with some snacks. Uh, what kind of snacks? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. <clears throat> As I said, I've been working with the Paranormal Containment Unit. Which is a stupid name, by the way. To help them overcome personal issues and function as a team. Yeah, it's an encounter group for monsters. Is that hilarious or what? It's nice of you to include me, but I don't think I belong here. I'm fine with who I am. Amen, brother. No, seriously, I don't have a problem with the Hulk. I can bring him out or not anytime I want. Wow. Must be nice, Mr. Part-Time Monster. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just saying that I've got the green guy under control. In light of recent events, perhaps that control is merely an illusion. But that's not why I've called you all here tonight. As Halloween nears, the barriers between dimensions become thinner, more permeable. In particular, the boundary between the dream dimension and our waking world is at its weakest on All Hallows' Eve. Some days ago, I became aware of an evil influence exerting itself upon a young man named Benito Serrano. His parents contacted me. They were concerned about their son's unusual sleep patterns. Using Benito as a conduit, I was able to enter the dream dimension. Doc, help me! Benito! Down here! Help me! Doc! It's all right, Benito. I'm here. You don't get it. We have to go. He's right behind me. Remain calm. He's only trying to scare you. If you can face your fears, they will have no power over you. Oh, come now, children. Do you really want to test that theory, Benito? I don't think this two-bit magician knows what he's talking about. Nightmare. I was wondering when you'd show your vile face. The eye of Agamotto will reveal your deception. <laughs> Forget your place, sorcerer. Here in the dream dimension, I reign supreme. The source of your power is fear, demon, and I do not fear you. Hmm. Oh, pathetic. Shadow creatures, tear him apart. <laughs> I summon the blade of Falthak. Forgotten someone. No. No! Benito! Benito! Doc! Help me! Doc! 
You failed, sorcerer. The boy is mine now. The first of many. <laughs> Benito! but to return to the waking world. I hoped I could do something to help Benito from the other side. Benito? But I was too late. Benito had already transformed into the very image of his own worst nightmare. <laughs> Forgive me, Benito, but I must summon the chains of Krakan! At his parents' request, I've been keeping Benito here, under my protection ever since. I hate to ask, but what did Nightmare mean when he said Benito was the first of many? See for yourself. There are four victims so far, and I fear there may be others. While Nightmare holds their dream selves captive, they've become monsters in the real world. Each a reflection of their deepest fears. They've been growing stronger and harder to contain. If I cannot free them soon, they may be trapped in these forms forever. And under Nightmare's control. But what's Nightmare's endgame? I mean, how much damage could four monsters do? You'd be surprised. The four victims all had unusually deep-seated fears. And fear is the source of Nightmare's power. With the barrier to the Dream Dimension at its weakest, his influence over those four could enable him to enter our reality. Tactically speaking, they've given Nightmare a toehold in our dimension, and his next step might be a full-scale invasion. And he makes our world a living nightmare. Okay, so how do we lay the smackdown on this clown? I need to smash Nightmare's mystical barrier and rescue those four victims. Uh-oh. I heard the word smash. With your unique dual nature, these recent incidents of sleep hulking you told me about, I think you may be the key. But first, I need to speak with Hulk. And... what if the green guy doesn't feel like talking? We can always force that hand. Seriously. You've got some spell that can just poof me into the Hulk. I had something simpler in mind. Warwolf? What? Is that supposed to make me angry? No. This is... Warwolf, no! <laughs> Your next fight, Hulk! <laughs> That's enough, Warwolf. Thank you. Whatever you say, Doc. One of your asshole projections. You set me up, Strange. Don't ever do it again. <clears throat> yes, well, uh, now that you've graced us with your presence, Hulk, why don't you tell me everything you can remember about these recent incidents where you turn... Into Puny Banner? I remember everything. And let's just say it makes me, what's the word, angry. I see. And why is that? I'm a hero! Not just a hero, I'm an Avenger! People count on me! My team counts on me! And right when I'm about to smash some evil guy's face in, Banner shows up! And always at the most inopportune time. Yeah, that's right. Some rotten luck, huh, Doc? Not luck at all, my friend. I believe you may have fallen under Nightmare's influence as well. Nobody influences the Hulk! Man-Thing, if you would, please. I saw your reaction earlier, and now this confirms it. Whoever knows fear burns at the touch of the man-thing. Hey, I ain't afraid of nothing! Perhaps not. But what about Banner? Who cares about that puny loser? I'm the hero! Banner keeps showing up where he ain't wanted. That's the problem. And the big green monster turns into a normal human, who can walk down the street without people running and screaming. Where do I sign up for that problem? I ain't a monster! I'm a hero! That's enough, man-thing. I think I have all the information I need. I summon the mists of Morpheus. <laughs> Clearly, Nightmare is tampering with Banner's transformations by tapping into some extremely powerful subconscious fears. But to what end, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to enter Banner's sleeping mind and confront Nightmare one more time. 
And you called in the paranormal containment unit for backup while you go behind enemy lines. Not a problem, Doctor. We're ready to face down anything Nightmare throws at us. And blast the living daylights out of it. I'm glad to hear that. Because I have an even more important duty for your team. So, you need us to house it while you're gone. While I'm in the dream dimension, my physical body will be completely vulnerable to attack. We understand, Doctor. We'll ensure your safety during the mission. And we'll babysit your pet monsters. No worries. Nobody's getting in or out of here tonight. Thank you. These talismans will allow us to contact one another should the need arise. It's sort of a mystical walkie-talkie. I just hope I'm not too late. What are we doing here? I take it you recognize this place? It's the Gamma Base. Birthplace of a Hulk, where I... Let's just say a lot happened here. Not here, precisely speaking. This is part of the Dream Dimension, shaped by your memories and impressions. So none of this is real? Uh, I didn't say that. Take this talisman. It will allow us to locate one another should we become separated. The Dream Dimension can be... disorienting. Five, four, three, two, one. You might want to cover your eyes for this part. No, that's impossible. Shield of the Seraphim, protect us! But how can he be here when I'm here? You share a consciousness, and the Dream Dimension operates by very different rules. Listen to me, Bruce. This is your nightmare. You must regain control over the Hulk part of your psyche. But I don't have any issues with the Hulk. I'm fine with who we are. This isn't my nightmare. No, it's mine! Ah! Puny Banner, always in the way, trying to get rid of Hulk! No, listen to me. You know that's not true. Stop lying! I've been going about this all wrong. I've been focusing my efforts on you, Dr. Banner. And I should be focusing on the Hulk. So what do I focus on? Surviving, mostly. Now would be a really good time to wake up from this dream. I'm afraid it's not quite that simple. Remember, you've been asleep since I first encountered you tonight. So 30 cc's of adrenaline should stimulate my brain's hypothalamus. The rules of science do not apply here, Dr. Banner. The only solution is for you and Hulk to cooperate. Tell that to the other guy! By the ruby rings of Ragnar, I bind and contain me! Hulk, you have to stop this. I need you and Banner to work together. Never! for a piece of bubblegum right now! Leave him alone! Look, Hulk! It's all an illusion! You're being manipulated! Someone is trying to trick you! <laughs> He's right, Hulk! Banner is trying to trick you. He wants to get rid of you. Banner. Banner! Hulk, listen. Nightmare is manipulating you, fueling your rage. He's the reason you've been turning into Banner when you don't want to. <laughs> Banner! In a realm of dreams, the dreamer holds power. Remember that! No coaching from the sidelines. I'm rooting for Hulk. Empathy, morality, all that hero nonsense. That's all Banner's doing. His meddling is ruining a perfectly good monster. My monster. Without Banner, Hulk will finally be free. <coughs> free? <coughs> free to do as you command. And once he's fallen under your control, you'll use him and your other captives <coughs> to open a portal to the waking world. Oh, you do know me so well. Now, 
If you'll excuse me, I have a funeral to attend. Banners. Think, Bruce, what does it mean? What power does the dreamer hold? Wait, if it's my dream, then maybe I can control what's in it. It couldn't be that simple. Or could it? Halloween. The one night of the year when I can have a normal night on the town. And here I am, babysitting two eggheads. <sighs> Moved. Call me if he scratches his nose. Think we've got something worse than an itchy nose. What are you doing out of bed? situation here I understand agent Sidwell I'll try to calm the Hulk's dream self hopefully that will stop him and reverse his transformation in the waking world but whatever happens you must contain the Hulk and prevent him from rampaging through Manhattan not to worry doctor we have this completely under control I summon the daggers of Tanak <laughs> for containment. No problem. I got this. Man, he moves fast for a big guy. This will contain you, you green-faced baboon. They got insurance. Warwolf! Warwolf, come in! Hello! Get on! You are a hero. I am a hero. I'm an Avenger. Torturing the weak while innocents are imprisoned by a demon? Are these the actions of a hero or a monster? That's quite enough, Strange. If you're determined to ruin the game, I'll have to remove you from the board. Have your fine, Hulk. This one won't interrupt you again. Show yourself better! Right behind you, Hulk. Stark, what are you doing here? Not Tony. I'm just borrowing a suit. <sighs> you think that shiny suit's gonna beat me? I don't want to beat you, Hulk. I just want you to listen to me. Listen to this! <laughs> Okay, so arm wrestling is out. Just one. Talk! I really don't want to make you angry, but I need to get your attention. 
than I thought. Or maybe it's hard to know fear when you're sawing logs like that. As you've made abundantly clear, magician, your paltry fears are of little use to me. But I would want to bribe you with a full nightmare experience. You may join the others in reliving your greatest fear forever. Benito. Doctor, we're losing him. You've got to do something. Doc. Uh, docs. The docs are sleeping like babies. Crisis averted. Maybe you're not such a lousy babysitter after all. Uh, uh. New crisis. The monsters are gone. You were supposed to be watching them. I was not. That was your job. No one was watching them. We were all chasing Hulk around Manhattan. Dr. Strange, Agent Sitwell here. Strange? Hello? There's no answer. You may know my fears, Nightmare. But you can't fool me with your illusions. another dimensional demon for trying. But it doesn't matter whether you succumb or not. The others already have, and their delicious terror is powering this ingenious device. The key, as you cleverly surmised, is the Hulk. Once he destroys Banner, and I have him completely under my control, then the real fun will begin. The others are merely anchors to the Wicking World. But the Hulk will provide a portal. You do understand. It's so rewarding when one's genius is appreciated. Yes, that green behemoth's rage will provide the power to fracture the dimensional barrier. Every terrified soul in the waking world will be mine to feast upon forever. <laughs> Playing the hero card. Pretty sly, Banner. <laughs> but you know you'd get rid of me if you could. Maybe that was true once, but look at the people we helped. The lives we've saved. Together. You're a part of me. I get that. I accept it. But can you accept the puny human part of you? Always gotta be the smart one, don't you? We'll split up to cover more ground, but stay in contact. Four monsters can't have gotten far in the middle of Manhattan, even on Halloween. Last one to beg a monster buys breakfast. Oh, you are going to eat those words. Uh, this is not a team. Can you believe 
all heat. Some not actually tried the wait till there's a fly in my soup gag. What? <laughs> Monsters don't get invited to parties. Time to power down, Benito. Nighty night, my little bovine friend. That was set to stun. Next time, I won't be so nice. Coincidence. Advantageous strategy is in yeah. Not now. Much better. Dismiss this demon spell. Let the flames of the vault team release me from this cell. <sighs> An impressive show, sorcerer. I do love fireworks. Perhaps I'll show you some of mine. <laughs> Welcome, my jade schemed friend. I trust you had no trouble finding the place. Wasn't hard. I followed Strange's toy. And what of the weakling banner? The only one left is the one that smashes. Hulk, no. Why? To finally free himself of Banner's crippling weakness. Now, the might of the Hulk, and only the Hulk, will deliver my monster army to the waking world! My dear, terrified captives, your fear powers the portal that will guide us across the dimensions. But even at its thinnest on this All Hallows Eve, the barrier cannot simply be crossed. It must be smashed. Hulk's 
stop. You don't know what you're about to unleash on our world. <laughs> What took you so long? You tried dragging Hordehead's oversized hide all the way across town. They'll all be waking up soon. We need to secure them. Somehow. Well, I don't know about you guys, but my magical incantations are a little rusty. Looks like Fido's more interested in sniffing the fire hydrants. Really? You're making dog jokes. Simmer down, you two. Man-Thing is obviously reacting to that. Okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That depends on what comes out of it. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? With each smash, the dimensional barrier to the waking world breaks down and becomes our gateway to conquest. Looks more like an escape hatch to me, which means it's time for us to bust out of this place. Bust out? Au contraire, my emerald behemoth. I will stride through triumphantly. I wasn't talking about you, pointy ears. Banner smash! What? <laughs> I summon the vapors of Valtor. <laughs> you tricked me! I'm smarter than I look. Run! Hurry! This way! Children, you cannot simply cross over from the dream dimension. You must return to your physical forms, or on the same path you arrived. Otherwise, there will be dire consequences. <sighs> okay. I remember the way back. Follow me! I will not forfeit my monster army. Those children cannot escape their own greatest fears. <laughs> Mortal fool. You dare to challenge me in my realm? No. We dare to challenge you. Careful. In this dimension, Nightmare's power is limitless. Yeah, so is mine. In any dimension. <laughs> Banner, Dreamboat's making a break for it. I'm on it. This nightmare is over. Doc, what happened to Benito? Nightmare drove Benito's astral self to merge with his fear. Still, if his physical form survives, there's a chance that I can restore him. But we must hurry. And... Nightmare? Defeated. For now, at least. <laughs> Come, children. We're going home. Uh, 
I'm awake. I'm really awake. And I remember everything. The nightmare is over. Perhaps not. The children. No! Leave us alone! There's nothing to be afraid of. You're safe now. Very reassuring. Coming from a dead guy. Wait, children. These are my friends. They've been guarding you while you slept, protecting you from the real monsters. Yeah, we're the good guys! I... I just want to go home. Please. Of course, child. Doc. Doc, what's going on? What's happened to me? Benito. I'm sorry, Benito. Perhaps with time and research... You mean... I have to stay like this? Hey, it ain't so bad. Look at you. I bet... What is wrong with you? What? I'm trying to cheer him up. That's not the way to cheer him up. That's enough. This is not the time. Oh, but it is, Agent Sitwell. This is the time. My time. Nightmare. How did you... Escape? A magician never reveals his secrets. But let's just say an explosion provides exactly the sort of misdirection one needs to slip through a shrinking gateway. You tricked me! And I'll smash you back to dreamland! Wait, Hulk! First we must get the children to safety. No one is safe now. Get inside, quickly! Nightmare can't harm you in there. No! Anna, please don't be afraid. It's still me, Benito. Is that young Benito? So, the sorcerer failed you. Again, left you a freak, a monster. I summon the bolts of Balthark! <laughs> Hulk! I can offer you more than apologies and vague promises of a future that can never be. Join me, my Minotaur, and we shall be kings of the Earth. No. You're the one who made me like this, not him! You're the monster! So be it. You and the others have served your purpose. Here I am, in the city that never sleeps. Except it does sleep. And all those dreamers now belong to my army. <laughs> Omnipotent Ashtur, protect the innocent from this miasma. I summon the winds of Watum! I'm afraid the winds are changing direction this Hallow's Eve. <laughs> all those dreamers, all of that delicious fear. Prepare for your world to become your worst nightmare permanently! <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to scare me. The bigger they are, the easier they smash. Permission to light this clown up? Doctor? Hit him with everything we've got. <laughs> burns at the touch of the man thing. Foolish creature. Nightmare does not know fear. He creates fear. You'll be safe in here. Okay, let's get his attention first. Let's drain off a little of that energy. Vampire style. Well, aren't you adorable? This is how it's done, child. <laughs> Yield to the power of 
the Vishanti! My hero. That's what I keep telling people. Should I pick a card? Large or small, you are no longer in your realm, Nightmare. I am the Sorcerer Supreme of this dimension, and I will defeat you. That's it. I'm going in. Okay. Could have gone better. Hey! You're supposed to be a team! Act like one! Why don't you come down here and say that, you big- Quiet, Warwolf! He's right. These individual attacks aren't working! We need to employ coordinated tactics! Nina, Manning, front and center! I'd like to help too, sir. I need to help. Welcome aboard, son. Thanks, sir. Hulk, wait. There's another spell I'd like to attempt. It will require some time to prepare. We'll keep my birth this way, Doc. We'll need to do more than that. We'll soften the enemy and move him into position on the doctor's signal. All right. Let's fight like monsters. And you flatten no Manhattan. <laughs> I'm starting to see why a certain web slinger likes doing this! The enemy is wavering. That's our opening. Go! You... You turned me into my worst nightmare! Feel that burn nightmare? That's fear. Fear of failure. Fear of defeat. Fear of us. By the eye of Akamoto, an Ashtor who watches over us. Burn now in the light of the seven sons of Cinnabus! Now! Let the vapors of the Vishanti drive you from the sight of man! It's not too late, Hulk. Join forces with me, and you need never fear being puny again. Never! Never underestimate puny! All right, Dr. B! Now that is how you take care of business! Thanks, Werewolf. But I couldn't have done it without the help of Doctor Strange. And the Hulk. Oh, I think you can all take a portion of the credit. You did good, Benito. I'm sorry, I... I don't feel much like celebrating. Don't be a party pooper, kid! You're one of us now! A monster! Ow! What? What? Benito, I know you've been through a lot. I'd like to offer you a safe place to stay while you figure things out. If you don't mind bunking with a bunch of weirdos, that is. I think he's talking about us. Hey, are you talking about us? Uh, thanks, but... I don't know. I just want to be by myself for a while. Let me handle this one, sit well. I know how you feel, Benito. I was on my own for a long time. People said I was a monster, and I believed them. But then I found a home with a bunch of heroes. And I realized I get to choose what I am. I know those guys ain't exactly the Avengers, but... Maybe you should give them a shot. You know, I think we can count this as the first official victory for the Paranormal Containment Unit. Which is officially still a stupid name. <laughs> hey, you should name yourselves after Capsule Unit, the Howling Commandos. Get it? Are you kidding me? Well, I like it. Anybody got a problem with that? Uh, nope, no problem at all. Everybody, let's try not to alarm our guests. 
Doctor? Doctor Strange? Is the nightmare finally over? Yes. Where is Benito? He's nearby. Safe and sound. And what about Gail and Eric? Are they okay? See for yourself, Anna. Hey. Hi, guys. It's safe to go home now. Let's get out of here. Oh, tell Benito to give me a call. I'm sure he will. Thank you. Almost sunrise. All Hallow's Eve is over, and the dimensional barriers will become steadily stronger, keeping Nightmare where he belongs. At least until next year. And now we go back into the shadows, hiding from people we're trying to protect. Not forever. Trust me. Keep doing the right thing, and you can turn that fear into respect. But for now, it's almost morning rush hour. We'll have to wait inside until S.H.I.E.L.D. can send a jet for us. Until then, perhaps we can take care of some... unfinished business? No, I can't. You must learn to overcome your fear. Conquer your nightmares. <sighs> Fine. Hello. My name is Hulk, and I'm... a monster. Hi, Hulk. <sighs> I hate public speaking. Just calm your nerves by picturing them all in their underwear. Ew, are you serious? That's even scarier! <laughs>